What if I told you that one tiny mistake could mess things up for over 200 million Firefox users? What? Sounds like something from a spy movie, right? Well, on October 9th, 2024, this crazy tech nightmare became real. Mozilla, the folks behind Firefox, found a big bug, like a really big bug, that made the whole internet freak out. And nope, this wasn't your average glitch. It was more like a ticking time bomb, but for computers. Half of attacks, they were targeted individuals for. While you were binge watching your favorite show, cyber criminals were already out there trying to break into people's computers. Mozilla's team had to move faster than a kid grabbing the last piece of cake at a party. They were in a race against time, but instead of winning a trophy, they were just trying to stop millions of people from getting hacked. Yeah, no pressure, right? So you're wondering what the big problem was? A bug called CVE 2024-9680. Now, don't worry, I won't bore you with all the nerdy stuff, but basically, this bug let hackers take over computers. It's called a use after free bug. Sounds like something you'd hear at a yard sale, right? Buy one, get one free. But trust me, this bug isn't giving out anything you want. Imagine this bug is leaving your house key under the doormat. Except this isn't just your house, it's millions of houses. And guess what? The bad guys already knew where the key was hiding. It's like watching a movie where the hero's racing against time to stop the bad guys. Only this time, the hero is Mozilla's super tired security. Could Mozilla fix this bug before hackers took over everything? Spoiler alert, they had to sprint faster than an Olympic runner, but with way more coffee and less sweating. The stakes were higher than my cousin's basketball game, except, you know, with the internet and hacking. So what exactly is this use after free thing? All right, picture this. You borrow a book from the library, return it, but the librarian still thinks you have it. Confusing, right? Well, in the coding world, that's basically what happened. Firefox was trying to use something that was already returned. It's like checking out a book that's no longer there, but the computer is like, nope, still got it. It's messy, and hackers love messy. Hackers were like kids with the TV remote during a scary movie. They could take control and do whatever they wanted because Firefox had a problem with its animation timeline. Hackers used sneaky code, JavaScript, to mess with it and cause all sorts of chaos. It's like letting a toddler loose in a candy store. Bad things are going to happen. Lots of versions of Firefox were hit by this bug, like the regular one before, version 131.0.2 and some old school versions. Think of it like old cars. They run great until they don't. If you didn't update, you were basically waving a flag that said, hack me, please. So how did hackers use this bug? Well, they made sneaky web pages that triggered this use after free problem. It's like setting up a prank where someone leaves a banana peel on the floor for someone else to slip on. The hacker gets in and boom, they've got access. It's like sneaking into a party after everyone left and eating all the snacks. The worst part? Hackers could run any bad program they wanted on your computer, malware, stealing your info, or even taking over your whole system. Imagine someone taking your computer and using it for a massive hacker scheme. That's like inviting a friend over and they turn your house into a pizza restaurant without you even knowing. Oh. But here's the good news. Mozilla jumped on this problem faster than a kid on a trampoline. Within 25 hours, yep, just one day, they had a fix ready to go. That's faster than trying to decide what show to watch on Netflix. The bug had a super high danger level of 9.8 out of 10, so it was a race against time and Mozilla crushed it. So what can you do to stay safe? Easy, update Firefox like right now. If you can't, think about getting some extra security, kind of like hiring a bouncer for your computer. Don't let just anyone into your digital party. Also remember to be smart while browsing the internet. Don't click on weird links or download random stuff because that's like letting a stranger into your house and offering them cookies. Stay safe and help spread the word so others don't get caught in these hacker traps. Got thoughts on this whole hacker drama? Drop a comment below. I'd love to hear what you think. Thanks for watching, and if you had a good time, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech fun. And remember folks, the easiest way to keep the hackers out, just keep your software updated. Simple as that.